All right, for homework, due at the end of this week is the final Illustrator project. Um, if you go here to the left-hand side, as specified in your assignment sheet, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. At the very end here, it tells you what it is that you need to turn in on this uh, final due date. And it basically tells you that you need to complete your design brief, and you also need to complete um, and turn in your um, layered illustrator file and you need to name it accordingly okay these instructions are also on the main website um, what you'll notice additionally here you have is all the homework components it tells you that you need to have turned them in you don't need to worry about this in terms of turning them in now you need to have turned these in as they were due on the weeks that they were due so that's what that's referring to okay now um, I'm gonna go back into the into the website all right and this design brief, we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. You could also access it from the uh, assignment sheet. We're just going to look at it here instead. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to download it. And it's going to be probably on your desktop or wherever it is that you um, store your downloads. I can access mine here. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And your design brief is basically a summary of your project and the process you went through as well as kind of the visual composition and um, what your storyline was about so that we can understand your project a little bit more in depth. And then also what you think you did well and what you uh, would have done differently. Okay, so you would go ahead and fill out this information here. And uh, keep it brief. Um, this isn't an essay, so you know one or two sentences for each section, as long as we get the gist of what you're talking about, should be fine. All right. And then this self-evaluation. This is um, basically you assigning uh, yourself what you think you deserve on the project in these uh, particular areas, such as process, concept, um, composition, technical execution, presentation, and whether the final or not was turned in on time, and then a final grade. And these are basically, uh, even though the format looks different, this is basically the same things that I'm going to be evaluating you on. I use a, a five-point scale. Um, here I just um, leave the A, B, C, D, F, just because that's probably what you guys are more familiar with. Okay, so you assign yourself that. Um, and the reason that I do this is not because this is the grade that you're going to end up receiving. It's just so that if there's a discrepancy in between what you think you deserve and what I think you deserve um, on the project, what you what I know is that I need to have that conversation with you and contact you to make sure that um, we're on the same page and we understand why um, why it is I feel that you've earned a certain grade and, and you can let me know why you feel you earned a different grade. Okay, so that's just in case we need to have a conversation and have you fill that out. So please make sure you fill that out and then also make sure you complete your uh, design brief. These can all be in the same document. You're just going to upload it up to Laulima when you're done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then again, just another reminder, um, it's your layered illustrator file. That's your illustrator file, the one you were actually drawing in. It's not like the one that you turned in for critique, the JPEG. It's not that. It's your layered illustrator file. And I want you to name it a certain way. The reason that I want you to name it a certain way is because when I uh, grade these, I download them all to my computer. And if they're all named your name, Proj1, like this, instead of with your actual name, then they just start replacing themselves as I download them on the computer. And I don't want that. Okay, so just make sure that you rename them correctly. All right, uh, your grade sheet, the one that I'll actually be using, again, it's in the same topics that you're self-evaluating yourself for. It just looks a little different. And then what you get is this grade sheet here. And basically it's divided into these areas similar to your self-evaluation, except for the homework isn't included in here. You've already been graded for that part. You have the scale here, like you didn't submit, failed, poor, average, good, or excellent. So it's on a five-point scale. And then basically here, I check off whichever one corresponds to that. So there's these different areas, and then I'll say, okay, excellent, check it off, or average, check it off. And I do that for all of these, and then I basically tally everything up. And into the subtotal score here, it's out of 100 points. If the project is late, it doesn't matter if it's one day late or if it's two weeks late, it's going to get marked uh, 10 points off the total score, which is a letter grade. So if that's the case, then I'll check it off here. And then if the score needs to be readjusted, it would be here along with your grade. Okay, so that's your grade sheet. Go ahead and close out of that. Then in La Lima, what I'll end up doing is in your where you turn in your assignment, I'll respond to that assignment and I'll submit the grade in there and then you'll get a notification through La Lima letting you know that the grade has been released and you'll be able to go to Gradebook or to that assignment and see what it is that you earned on that particular project, okay? I also try to either attach a um, grade sheet 
in response to that assignment where you turned it in or I'll send it in an email. Okay, so you can expect to get your grade in the grade book and then also um, see a grade sheet with uh, some feedback. All right. Okay, that concludes your lesson on what is due for homework at the end of this week. If you have any questions, I led at hawaii.edu or 808-343-9565.